Good morning, Conley Yellow Jackets. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Ashley. And I'm Francis. Today is Tuesday, October 5th, 2011. For today's lunch choices are choice of one, pancake sausage, pancake sausage and turkey sub, choice of two, tri taters, green beans, and assorted fruit. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And a happy birthday to Mr. Cristiano in fifth grade. And Dr. Mill in special area. Happy birthday! Bzzz. Our colony swarm is less than two weeks away. We're expecting a huge turnout with over 500 runners and walkers. Just a reminder, pre-registered participants can pick up their packets on October 12th in the Conley Elementary Media Center from 2.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Snow cones will be available for, for purchase. Participants at the event can get one free by showing their race number. We look forward to seeing you on October 15th. SSYRA is back, Yellow Jackets. Check the black display in the media center for this year's book. Remember, third, third fourth, fourth, and fifth graders. Read ten books by the end of the year and you get to come to the ice cream party. Read three books and you get to vote for your favorite book. Now, for All of Us About Math with Lillian Grayson. Thanks, guys. I'm Grayson. And I'm Lily. Today's question is for K through second grade. Grayson, today's question? Today's question is, there are 12 red marbles, 24 yellow marbles, and 17 green marbles in a box. Find the total number of marbles. Put your name and your teacher's name, and then turn in your answer. Remember to keep reading those math books and textbooks, like teeth, Tales and Tackles, an animal counting book Christopher by Christopher Wormell. And Math Tables 2 by Greg Tang. Tomorrow we, get, we will give the answers. That's all for today, Conley Yellow Jackets. Now back to our anchors. Now let's take it with Lenton, Victoria, Taylor, and Reed with today's WCSS Sports Center. Welcome to today's edition of WCSS Sports Center. I'm Taylor. I'm Reed. I'm Victoria. And I'm Linton. In college football, number 23, Florida State will face Wake Forest. Florida State is 2-2, two and two, and Wake Forest is 3-1. and one. In the NBA, they might cancel the first two weeks because the players are demanding more money and the coaches are arguing. I'm Taylor, back from assignment at the Tampa Bay versus Colts game. I was sitting in the eighth row cheering on the Colts. Even though they lost, I had a fun time at the football game. And I'm going to another one in November. On Sunday, the Steelers will face the Titans. 99.9% .9 I think the Steelers will win. That's all for, the, for today's edition of the WCSS Sports Center. Let's take it back to the studio with Ashley and Francis. Now here's character counts with Kiana and Jim Erica. Good morning, Kleinerikis. I'm Kiana. And I'm Jim Erica. And we're here with the next segment of Character Corners. And we are here the the thing is, is about caring. Last week we talked about giving compliments to each other. To start helping each other.
We are going to help others to get along with other people. When you are caring, when caring is, when you, when, when you are caring, you have to say nice things to, to each other. The real definition of caring is having a good feeling. That's all for today's segment of Character Counts. Now back to our anchors. And with the WCSS Daily Weather Report, here's Ariana. Currently today, it's for the low of 50 and the high of 87. The 2 p.m. we're exploring the northeast at 13 miles per hour. Felipe is finally a tropical storm. Felipe is now going out to sea. Its winds have gotten higher at 65 miles per hour, and its direction is at northwest at six, five, at 6 miles per hour in the Atlantic. There's more of this weather for you tomorrow. I back to our anchors. Surprise, Conley Yellow Jackets. Today is rice upon request. Good luck. And now for this day in history. <laughs> This day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, October 5th, 1831, Chester A. Arthur, who became the 21st President of the United States, was born in Fairfield, Vermont. He became Vice President when James Garfield was elected President in 1880. On July 2nd, 1881, Charles Gito shot President Garfield, who died on September 19th. Early the next day, Arthur became President. He lowered taxes on foreign goods coming to the United States. He supported efforts to improve the way in which federal government workers were hired, fired, and promoted. He began construction of a modern navy, and his administration enacted the first general immigration laws. Also, on this day in 1902, Ray Kroc was born. He was the businessman who built the McDonald's fast food empire. And on this day in 1930, Laura Ingalls, the first woman to make an airplane flight across the United States, departed from Roosevelt Field, New York. She flew her plane to Grand Central Air Terminal, Glendale, California, making nine stops and arriving four days later. She logged 30 hours and 27 minutes of flight. <laughs> That's all for today, Conley Yellow Jackets. Remember our motto. Make the most of every minute. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.